how are y'all doing tonight? I can't get everything synced today. Well, I hope that you've had an awesome Memorial Day. And um, I hope that you got to have some good family time. I'm going to teach my son how to play Yahtzee tonight. That's going to be my accomplishment for today. Gave him Play-Doh today. I caught him playing with the Play-Doh container. Maybe the Play-Doh will be next. Oh, we will see what happens. I just want to stop. So I'm listening to music. Just kind of chilling. Kind of this morning I was remembering what today's about. And today is about the sacrifice that many men and women made to maintain our freedom, to keep us free. So that's what we remember today. We remember them. We remember their family members too because that was a great sacrifice for them also. So I hope you've had a good day today. I've had a mm, day. I went and got groceries though. I did go and um, get some groceries and I went to Dollar General today. So that's always a treat for me when I can go by myself and I can look at things and I have time to shop. So I did that today. My husband was home today, so I was able to do that. And um, I love taking my son places, but everything he touches ends up in his mouth. So I just... I can't very well have peace about taking him everywhere like that, like a store where, you know, people have touched everything. So anyway, um, I want to talk to you about some gay ball. I want to talk to you about Memorial Day. I want to talk to you about Jesus giving all to, because I think that's a good parallel. I believe that men and women gave their all for us so that we can have freedom. Well, Jesus too gave his all for us so that we can have freedom. And also, with Jesus we get eternal life in heaven. I mean, eternity is going to be spent somewhere. Heaven is a much better place. Alright, well let's jump into some prayer. God, we just thank you and we praise you God you are the great Jehovah you are the great I am like we talked about last night you are our provider God you are our Jehovah Jireh God we just thank you you are our everlasting father you are from everlasting to everlasting God thank you for being our creator our sustainer our provider our protector Thank you for being our shelter. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our refuge. God, you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. God, you are magnificent and powerful and mighty, but yet you are also loving, compassionate, kind, caring, patient, wanting none to perish, God. You will keep all your promises and all your prophecies will be fulfilled, God. Thank you for loving us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we cry out for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals, God. We pray for the prodigals to come home to you God to repent of their sins to have their relationship with you reconciled God we pray for all the disasters that are going on all over the world God there are a lot of shootings there are a lot of just bizarre happenings God that are ending life and we just pray with all these families that are mourning God we just pray that you would give them peace comfort and strength we pray for people that are in the midst of tragedy, God, that they would feel your presence, that you would help them meet their needs in their time of tragedy. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, amen and amen. 
Okay, so I shared a song today. It's a secular song. I normally don't do it. I normally just share Christian music. But I felt like this song described what I think about, what I feel about today, about it being Memorial Service. I mean, Memorial Day. And I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, I don't think about it that much, but it has hit my heart today. And uh, I do always put something on Facebook, not really a song or a share about it, but usually a picture and say, you know, God bless you for your sacrifice. And you know, again, the family, it's a sacrifice for the family, too. Because they don't have that loved one anymore. Okay. So, Some Gave All by Billy Ray Cyrus. My words for today. Some Gave All was were my words for today. Actually, I started thinking about it yesterday. This video has some great pictures showing what all branches of our military does for us. I usually do not share secular songs, but this song and message represents what I feel today for all of our heroic men and women that gave all. The ones that instead of running from the battle, ran into the battle knowing they might not survive. The ones that sacrificed their lives to keep us free. Is it possible for this country to unite under their great sacrifices? To be thankful today that we are free because of them, no matter who you are. Their lives should matter to us all. And I agree, both sides. Both sides, even the people in the middle, these sacrifices should matter to us because they were great sacrifices that they made. This country needs to reunite with God. We need to be one nation under God again to be a great country again. Jesus is missing in hearts and lives. We are seeing the results in our country. Jesus gave all, too. He gave all also. He laid his life down for everyone. God loves everyone and wants all to come into a relationship with him through Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. All right, so let's get into some scripture. Now, I don't have I don't have a lot of oh, Sorry. That went over my I knocked it over with my Bible. I'm trying to like juggle everything here. And I'm not going to be on here for very long either. So a lot of verses that people use for Memorial Day is this one. John 15:13. And so this is Jesus talking about himself and the relationship that he has with us. And I'm going to read all of it because I think it's really good. And it doesn't really, there's only one part that really even, you know, coincides with Memorial Day about people laying down their life for their friends. But Jesus did that. He laid down his life for his friends and for all of us. So let's read uh, John 15. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. 
Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth, purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. We can do nothing without Jesus. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it will be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. You know, um, I believe that these men and women that sacrificed their lives, some of them may be fully knowing well that they were not going to survive in the situation they were in. I believe they did it out of great love for our country. You know, um, they wanted to protect people here. They wanted to protect their family members. They wanted to protect their friends. And so they went and fought a war, not on our land, to offer protection for us so that the enemy would not come to our land and cause war here. So I think that's what Jesus is saying, that because of his love, because of the love that Jesus has, because of the love that these men and women have for our country, our family, their friends, people that they don't know, people that they did not know, Jesus also paid it all for people he did not, well, he does know them. He does know their hearts and minds. But regardless of whether they love him, care for him, even believe in him, Jesus laid down his life for them. Okay, let's continue. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatever I command you, henceforth I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his lord doeth but i have called you friends for all things that i have heard of my father i have made known to you ye have not chosen me but i have chosen you uh, i lost my spot and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. He may give it you. These things I command ye, you, that ye love one another. If the world hate ye, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. All right, back to our military, all branches go into countries that hate us absolutely hate us they go in there and not only do they defend us they defend the, uh, the innocent people in those countries they defend the innocent children they defend the innocents that's why they're there they're trying to protect those people and protect us too so that's what jesus was doing too. He died for us <clears throat> to 
to provide for us an escape from the enemy, to provide for us another path to God, to provide for us an eternal place where we can be with Him, we can be with God, we can be with the Holy Spirit forever. So that is what Jesus did. That was Jesus' sacrifice. These men and women, they sacrificed to. And I am not going to be on here for very long. I'm going to maybe do a couple more verses. Um, okay, let's read 1 John 2, 2. And of course, John 3.16 is up there staring at me, but we read John 3.16 all the time, which I like John 3. I love John 3.16. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so 1 John 2, I'm just going to start with one. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the world. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar and the truth is not in him. I'm sorry, I think I have mosquitoes in my office or <sighs> bites that I have received outside. <laughs> the mosquitoes are vicious. The more it rains, the more vicious the mosquitoes get. And so I hope you're not experiencing that. Okay, well let's read John 3.16 because I like it so well. And then we're going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to pray. I'm going to share what God shared with me this morning. Okay, so John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved jesus came to save jesus did not come to condemn jesus came to save jesus came to heal jesus loves us as we are we don't have to change not one hair on our head to come to jesus we don't have to get our life perfect that is such fallacy because we will never come to Jesus if we wait to get our lives perfect. I wouldn't be here if I had waited to get my life perfect. My life was broken and I needed a savior. So I called out to Jesus in my time of need. Okay, I'm gonna mark these that I read. Um, Okay, so all gave some, but some gave all. So all of our military people that um, sacrificed their life for our freedom, God bless you and your families. I pray that you are with Jesus getting your rewards for your sacrifice. Um, I pray that your family has peace, comfort, and strength and knows that you laid it all on the line for them and for us and for people that you didn't even know in other countries and people that you didn't even know here and people that could care less about you dying for their freedom you did it anyway so thank you i want to thank you all right so this is uh my morning I'm just going to read all of it because a lot of it is good and it's about what we're talking about tonight. 
Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. I brought you a new day to embrace, child. A new beautiful day. Get out and be the hands and feet of Jesus today. So I did that. Be my helper, remembering what today is about. It is about remembering all soldiers that gave their lives for their country, praying for their families and friends also, child. This is what today is about, child. And I said, thank you, God, for another day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in gospel of Jesus. Thank you for the new day. I will rejoice in it and embrace it. Thank you for a new beautiful day. I will get out and be the hands and feet of Jesus. I will remember what today is about and share it with others too. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, he said, child, so many need to be free from the bondage of sin. They find themselves in. They do not know how to get out. Your service men and women of all branches gave all to your country and died to keep your freedom intact in your country, in other countries too. People did the same. They gave all for their countries. This, oh, other countries too. Their people did the same. They gave all for their countries. This holiday is about your country's warriors that gave all. They had all they had in the fight for freedom. What would give what would you give in the name of freedom? Would you give all? Like these brave men and women that instead of running away from the battle ran into it. So he's asking me if I would do that. That's a scary thought. I will be honest, God, I don't know. I would like to think that I have that bravery in me, but I don't know. I am a patriot, so I guess I would fight against tyranny to save freedom. I feel like we might find out soon the way things are going in our government. Many laws are directly against we the people that pay our lawmakers. They abuse and misspend our tax dollars more and more all the time for things that are wasteful and not helpful. I will put in the forefront of my mind what today is. It is a sad remembrance of our heroes that gave all. So I have the freedom to meet with you every day. So I have the freedom to get dressed and go get things that I need. Please, God, keep us free from the evil one and his evil plans. Please protect us. Protect the ones that signed up to protect and serve and honor our Constitution. Please be with the families and friends of our heroes who gave all for our country. Let them be, be memorialized the way they should today. Help us also to enjoy the freedoms that came with their sacrifices. And he said, also, child, my son gave all in the face of evil to fulfill my, my prophecies, my plans, and my purposes to secure freedom and eternal life for my children. So remember this too today. My son paid it all on the cross to be the last blood sacrifice required. He reigns above all evil eternally. It may seem like they are winning, but their defeat will be great, child. Keep trusting me and walking with Jesus, child. Keep walking in obedience and faith. Trust me above all to provide what you need, child. Great is my faithfulness. And I have proved this to you over and over again. I will never fail you, child. The reunion is soon and quick, so be ready, child. My love will never fail you. All my children are my precious treasures and will soon all be with me in the land of perfection and beauty, child. Please keep sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus with extreme obedience. The rewards are here, child. The time is not now, though. Much needs to be done on earth to get in this last harvest before the rapture. 
so keep working, child. And I said, Maranatha God, I will keep working for you. So I really enjoyed going out today because I like to talk to people. I think I am an introvert. I am just as happy staying here in my jammies and not talking to anybody but my cat and my son. But I'm an extrovert too. I like to get out and I like to talk to people. And like my mother, I never meet a stranger. I just like talk to everybody that I see. But God asked me to go and be the hands and feet of Jesus today. And that felt so good. It feels so good. I try to make... Um, when I go to the store now, I try to bless someone for their hard work. You know, tell them, God bless you for your hard work. I know you work hard. God sees how hard you're working. You know, I just want to be a blessing and an encourager until Jesus comes. That's part of my this year thing is giving testimony of the good things that God's done in my life and um, to encourage others and to be in God's presence. I think I have the God's presence down because I'm pretty, I'm pretty cemented in my quiet time. I sacrifice my time and it is so worth it. And I have the extra time. A lot of people don't have it, but I do have the extra time. And it is so worth it to spend that time with God. I have learned so much. So much more than just reading the scripture. I have learned a lot. Well, how do we want to do the... How do we want to do... I think we'll just do it with this. This is so tiny. This is so tiny, but it's a salvation. Message. Oh, whoa. It's so tiny. It's front and back. It's a salvation message. I know. I love it. It goes with this, which has a bunch of scriptures with it, too, which I think is so cool. But the thing is, the writing is very, 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 very small. But I was able to read it one day. Maybe I can read it again. And this is, who, who made this? can't read it something yeah I don't know I can read the words but I can't that's just a tinier font and I can't read that okay it says key to life number one God loves you and has a great plan for your life Jesus said my purpose is to give life in all its fullness John 10 10 number two sin separates you from God we are all sinners Romans 3 23 the price for sin is death Romans 6 23 and then three the price is already paid Jesus paid it all God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners, Romans 5 eight, Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. Oh, I've got to flip it over. It's free. Number four, it's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't, you don't earn or work your way to heaven by morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. Number five, Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. And then the next part, it's up to you to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray, Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. It's a very short prayer. 
but it covers it. Forgiveness of sins. Ask him into your heart. Give me the gift of eternal life. It covers all of it. It is important to be baptized, go to church, pray, read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. And that is true. It is. But start with reading the Bible. Start reading the Bible every day. Pray to God. Thank God for what you have. Tell God what your needs are. Pray for others. Pray for God to lead you to a church so you can be baptized and you can have something, someone, can have a group of people to fellowship with that are Christians. All right, well, if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and um, the angels are rejoicing. It is awesome when one soul comes home. It is an awesome thing. All right, well, I'm going to get off of here. I am going to give you a blessing from God. I'm going to go eat again. I'm hungry again. Tomorrow, maybe I will start fasting again. But it's a holiday today. And I'm going to enjoy today. I may go teach my son how to play Yahtzee. I'm going to see if my husband wants to play. I might beat them both. Okay, so number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So remember today, Memorial Day is about our men and women that sacrificed their lives for our freedom. And we need to be thankful and grateful. And in addition, Jesus sacrificed his, sacrificed his life for our freedom too and eternal life. So those are kind of a parallel. And um, I'm going to end with prayer. I want to pray for these families. I want to pray for these friends that are hurting today and are missing their family members. I'm going to pray that they get the, the respect and gratitude that they deserve today. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you for all the servicemen and women, God, our heroes, our heroes in uniform, God, that instead of running away from the battle, ran into the battle. And God, they laid down their lives for their country. They laid down their lives for their family. They laid down their lives for their friends, God. Just pray that you would give these families today peace, comfort, and strength and let them know, God, that the sacrifice was worth it, that right now we are free, and they are why we are free, God. So many families affected, God, by these sacrifices. 1.3 million military personnel have have uh, perished, have sacrificed their lives over the many, many wars that we've had. That's what Wikipedia said. If anybody wants to fact check that, then that's what Wikipedia said. I looked it up. But God, we just lift up these families, these friends, to you, God, and just pray that you would minister to them today and every day going forward. God, we have people that perish in our military nearly every day, God, so just be with these. Some of these deaths may be fresh. Some of them may be years ago, God, but anyway, the pain is real. And we just pray, God, for them. We pray for people to be drawn to Jesus, God, so that they can see the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross. 
God, we just thank you. We thank you for being our provider. I just pray for all my friends that are sick. God, I pray that you would heal their bodies. God, you know every little single detail of their illness, God. And so I just pray that you would heal them, that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence, God, that they would trust your process of healing, God, that they would trust you for healing. God, we just thank you for this time that we can come before you and we can pray, we can lay all these needs out before you, God. We just pray for a Jesus movement that will not end, God, that it will just go and go and go. I want to pray for the, the Jesus people tour, the circuit riders, God, the carry the love people, God. I just want to lift them up to you and pray for their success. For many to be saved, God, because of them sharing the truth and the gospel of Jesus. For the Let Us Worship movement, God, that goes from city to city. God, I pray for much success for them too. For many to be saved, God, through this movement. For many to be moved towards your heart, God, through praise and worship. God, we just, there are so many people that are hurting. There are so many people that are lost, God. There are so many people that are in the bondage of sin and other things, God, that they just can't break free from. Please give them strength, God. We just, uh, we're just thankful, God, to be in your presence. We're thankful that you give us the words to testify of the many great things that you've done in our lives. And we pray that you will help us to encourage others with what, with the messages that you ask me to bring, God, that the Holy Spirit would speak through me all the time, God. And I wouldn't even have to be thinking of words, that they would just flow out because it would be Him speaking through me. God, I just thank you and um, I just praise you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, my friends. Well, I've been saying that I want to shorten things, so I'm really going to try to do that. So have an awesome rest of your Memorial Day. Tomorrow is a regular work day, and it is June the 1st. So if you have a birthday in June, happy birthday month to you. Uh, mine is two months behind, and I uh, had to leave mine behind. <laughs> Maybe next year. It may be my birthday month before I know it. Who knows? Maybe Jesus will come before then. And I will be in perfect peace in heaven. Alright, my pray and share warriors. Each one of you are so precious to me. I love you so much. Many of you, I don't even know who you are. But God does. And know that God loves you. And he sees what you do for his kingdom. And his rewards are waiting for you in heaven. And there will be blessings here too. So much love. Much love. And cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.